Hello and welcome to today's video where we'll be talking about stock market faith. And no, I am not talking about your stocks that are traded on Wall Street. I am referring to your faith in Jesus Christ. So then what is stock market faith, you ask? Stick around for today's show and you'll find out. Welcome to Good News Tube. Referring to stock market faith, here's a general idea of what I'm talking about. It is a faith that is fluctuating naturally every day, it does not have a solid base, changes with time and events, and is dependent on something good happening externally to produce joy. Now, I trust that most of you know what the stock market is, and as we know, prices of these companies and institutions fluctuate every day. Some days they're up, some days they're down, some days they stay neutral and maintain their price. Oh yes, this may be common to the stock market, but it should not be common to you. It should not be common to your faith in the way you approach your days. If we live our lives this way, we will be like a stock market. Some days we will be happy, some days we will be sad. Living a life like this means you're completely dependent on things that happen outside of your control, whether it be something somebody says, failing at something that you gave your best at, or anything that happens in your day. One day, Jesus found himself in a conversation with a woman at a well in Samaria. Now, Jesus had told this woman that he could offer far better water than she could ever find in that well. And the woman basically replies and says, look, who do you think you are that you can offer me water that is better than what I can find in this well? And then Jesus replies to her, anyone who drinks this water will soon become thirsty again, but those who drink the water I give will never be thirsty again. It becomes a fresh bubbling spring within them, giving them eternal life. To me, this is the point where they have stopped talking about the water and they have started talking about more real issues such as faith and hope. This woman is at a very tough time in her life. She is ostracized by the community as she is going through some legal issues with her divorce. This woman had every right to be upset and depressed. She was going through a divorce and she was working in the blistering heat of the day. But Jesus mercifully invites her to drink his water and be saved. Now, what is it that steals your faith, your joy? Is it finances? Is it a relationship? What takes away from what makes you so faithful? I invite you to take these problems to Jesus. For in order for your faith to be restored, God must reveal a new thing to you. In Jeremiah 33, 3, you like that? Really easy to remember, all threes. God says, ask me and I will tell you remarkable secrets you do not know about things to come. Now, this is not God being mysterious with you. He is not trying to hide himself or keep himself unknown to you. In fact, he wants you to find him. But before you find him, you need to realize your need for God. And thus, this is why he puts us through tough tasks and tough times to see that we should become dependent on God, for he wants this relationship with us, his people. God has shown himself to us all throughout the Bible, but none greater than his only son, Jesus Christ. Now, I hope I'm not getting all too motivational, preachy-preachy on you, but I want you to hear me. Just reach out to God, call out to him, and see what he responds with. He is patiently waiting for you. He has always been waiting for you, and he can't wait to give you new life with your newfound faith in Jesus Christ. Guys, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you learned something cool, and I can't wait to see you next time.